Well, I've just finished watching the film on uh, the Windrush scandal on BBC One, and it it all ties in. I mean, it, the the it wasn't tied. It wasn't designed to tie in with what's going on elsewhere in the world. It was it was scheduled for tonight. Whatever. Um, but it kind of highlighted the subject: Is Britain a racist country? And I mean, the people that the, what I find is the people that say it's not are pretty racist. Um, it there is systemic race, racism in this country. I mean, you see it in in the whole the the, the coverage of uh, the protests at the weekend. Now. The, the lockdown rules were brought in. The same people that got upset and were shouting off on Twitter and everywhere else about, oh, we can't go in the parks and get a suntan while the sun's shining. We, we, we can't gather in the parks. The pe same people that were angry that white people couldn't go in the park to make their skin go a bit darker to be a bit more like a, a black or a brown person. Those same people were really, really angry this week at black and brown people gathering to be treated a bit more like white people. Now, if that isn't an illustration of systemic racism and ingrained, it's ingrained and trained racism. It's, people, there, is, there are millions and millions of people in Britain they're racist and don't even know it. I don't even think they know it because it is so ingrained. It is so, it's through them like a black foot pulled through a stick of rock. It doesn't, it's been sort of trained into them and it, it doesn't, it's not, not, not been described like that. It's just like, that's the way you should think. That's the way you should view people. And, I mean, it's an English exceptionalism thing. I mean, there is English exceptionalism, as in that the English are better than everyone at everything. I mean, we've proved we're pretty shit at a lot of things over the last few years, um, especially tr choosing our leaders. I mean, looking at that Windrush film, people knew that that Windrush st stuff had gone on and they voted in the Tories with a bigger majority. Now, if that doesn't tell you there's racism in this country, then nothing does. Nothing. If you can't see that, then is either something wrong with you, or I don't know what. I mean, the, we had these protests at the weekend. The government are now focusing on the tiny minority of people that were violent, and you know they've drawn attention to that. Shame they didn't focus on the minorities for the past forty years. Because if they'd focused on minorities for the last 30, 40 years, like they focused on the minority at the um, anti-racism demonstrations this weekend, we wouldn't have had the anti-racism demonstrations. Yeah? So, this country, we... It's a country I want to be proud of, but things are going wrong. Things are going wrong. We need to be a bit more open and honest as a country. Yes, there are issues and problems and they need to be addressed. I mean, nine times more black boys are stopped and searched than white boys. And they make up 3% of the population. Black guys. I mean, if that, I mean, it, I don't know, it's statistics is, 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 a, is obviously something that people, some people just ignore, but it's just, it's just ridiculous. The, the, the differentials, um, the people that die in police custody, it's, it's predominantly, you know, it's way, way, way over the odds black people die in police custody. But, you know. We have similar problems over here with the police as they do in America. So don't sit there and think, oh, you don't, we don't, we're all right. Absolute bollocks. I mean, I've, had, I've got rid of a bunch of dickheads off my Facebook for the last week who've been 
talking absolute shit. They they and, and they they run away. They run away because they're cowards. Because you you corner them. I mean, it's easy. I mean, it's like shooting fish in a barrel. I've been doing it for the last three years. You you just corner them. You ask them a couple of questions, and the only they have to either say, "Oh shit, I was wrong," or run away. And they usually choose run away because they're cowards. Because they're nothings. Most racists are cowards. They're scared. They're ignorant. That's what racist. It ignorance is fear. Ignorance leads to fear, and that's not. Not understanding or trying to understand. You know, maybe they've been pushed that way by their parents. Usually, that's usually where it comes from, probably in the house, home. Um, I mean, I was lucky. I, I, I grew up as a little boy, little very little boy. My mum and dad had to work. And before I went to school, in our split house, there was two flats in a house. Um, I'd go stay with my, you know, lady I called Aunt Yeti and her daughter Lisa, uh, Caribbean family, a uh, woman with her, her daughter. Um, so I was I was exposed to li- living and around in amongst people who looked different to me. But I was a I was a baby, so I, maybe I so no, I didn't think of it like that. No one was different. People were nice or they weren't nice. That's, you know what I mean? That's the way I look at, look at people now. I always have done. People are either decent or they're not. You know, it's what's inside your, your heart and your head. Um, I'm, I'm lucky. Maybe I'm lucky like that. My godmother was a Mauritian lady, uh, Auntie Christine. Um, so she beat people. She, she was a sort of Asian origin. So I've been surrounded my whole life as a young, as a young lad and then I, I first time I saw racism incarnate, and I don't, I didn't really realise what was going on then. I was only about seven, and I, I'd moved. We moved from London down to Gillingham, and uh, I was ch- ch- chatting to um, a lad in my class at playtime, uh, Indian lad, and I'm talking to him, and then we're off, you know, walking around the playground, and then a couple of lads come up and go, "What are you talking to him for?" I was like, "Oh, he's all right." I was just chatting. And I, what are you talking to him for? Packy. He's Packy. I'm like, right, what? Because uh, in, in West London, I'd never, see, I'd never seen that as a little boy. And, and obviously, I'd never felt that. You know, so I didn't understand it. And looking back, that was the, that, was that you know, it, it, it sort of dawned on me. Um, you know, my mum came to England when it was no dogs, no blacks, no Irish uh, in windows. So, uh, and I've been sort of an Irish woman... I got it at school as well, you know, it was, it was in the 70s and early 80s, it was, you know, you, you know, your mum's a terrorist, she's gonna, you're going to bomb us, and all that bollocks. So, uh, you know, a bit like the Muslims are treated now, you know, oh, oh, you're a Muslim person, you must be a fucking terrorist. For oh, fuck's sake, it's just so... It's shocking. Anyway. What, watch it, watching, watching them, the, the Windrush thing tonight, I mean... It brought it home that we are we've got such massive steps to take as a country. We've got a lot to do, and uh, I just I just hope that the 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 ball seems to be rolling at the moment. I just hope we can keep the momentum going. I mean, Boris Johnson's trying to stop it because he he fr- thrives off racism, um, racism and lies is is how he has got into power. I mean, he, he wouldn't have stood a chance of being even an MP uh, 30, 40 years when I was a boy because, you know, he just, just doesn't... Certainly not a Tory MP. He wouldn't even got he wouldn't even got elected to be an MP. But it's in a, a horrible environment at the moment where racism lies. I mean, the whole the, the Trumpian thing. It's, um, you know, hate. Still, hopefully, hopefully love will trump hate, hate over, you know, eventually. But we need to work on it. So if you see anything going on, you hear it, call it out. Be brave, please. It's just the only way it happens. Stand up to it. I mean, I'm I'm reading about it all day at work. People who work my company are getting attacked racially all the time, verbally mostly, obviously. But you know, it's not physical, but I, I, yeah, it's disgusting what people are saying. 
Uh, Brexit obviously made it worse. It brought it out in the open. Maybe maybe it bringing it out in the open is a good thing because it was it was there all the time anyway. Maybe bringing it out in the open is a good thing, and you can now recognise them. If you know anyone, if you know anybody that says they support Donald Trump, you know that they support racial violence because Donald Trump. That's all he's about now. So if they still say say they support Donald Trump, they support violence against people based on their race. And that's not, a, that's not even a question anymore now. That's not even a question. They used to be able to get away with it and say, oh, is this... Blah, 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 blah. Racism. Pure happy to see... If you support Donald Trump, you are happy to see people abused, beaten, killed because of the colour of their skin or the country they were born in. End of. There's not even a question anymore. We ain't that far away from it in this country. So, if you see it, call it. Say it out loud. Do something about it. Because it ain't good otherwise.